The RAD vaccine MIBC trial is a phase two clinical trial of neoadjuvant sasanlimab and stereotactic body radiation therapy as an in situ vaccination uh, for cisplatin ineligible muscle and basal bladder cancer. Um, so uh, the terminology of in situ vaccination is really important here. We are manipulating the tumor in situ in order to create a personalized vaccine as opposed to an off-the-shelf vaccine strategy or um, um, a strategy, for example, that uh, uh, takes tumor tissue and creates uh, a vaccine, which is which are different pathways. So this is really the terminology is an in situ vaccine. And again, this would be, you know, credit to Dr. Formenti and others who have come before us that have really um, championed this effort. So the phase two trial that we designed um, 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 was um, basically, a, this is a single center phase two, Simon uh, two-stage design. And the idea here is to um, push the pathologic complete response um, past 40%. Um, and, and our alternative hypothesis here is that, you know, with TRBT alone, uh, these patients, you know, do not have much um, you know, much higher than, you know, 20% uh, at best case scenario with that is with a, a scraping of the bladder tumor out, you do see some pathologic complete responses. So uh, this population uh, currently goes straight to cystectomy. So, uh, you know, this trial was really uh, uh, designed uh, as really a window of opportunity within that three month period to deliver two doses of sasanlimab. And we actually chose very rationally uh, what we consider to be um, a sequential um, uh, timing for the radiation therapy to come in. So they get cycle one, go through one month uh, of sasanlimab. And as they start cycle two, um, they they get eight gray times three delivered every three, um, uh, every other day for, for a total of three um, fractions that are that are given. And so uh, the study is, um, you know, um, uh, powered and designed with a primary uh, objective of assessing uh, pathologic complete response uh, or PT0 rates. We do have a 10 patient safety lead in uh, for feasibility and safety because it hasn't been done. So this is a, really a co primary uh, endpoint in our uh, study. And then uh, what's really exciting is obviously, um, you know, determining whether this this works or not, if there's a um, efficacy signal, but uh, our lab um, together with some of our um, collaborators have really designed a very comprehensive biomarker um, uh, analysis, really interrogating um, um, various tissue and blood sampling at uh, the screening phase, during therapy at radical cystectomy and at follow-up to really try and determine um, what are the signatures, what are the hallmark uh, features of patients who have response versus those who don't, and that would then allow us to better inform next steps in the in the in, in the future. So you know this includes. Uh, circulating tumor DNA, for example, um, that's collected before and after, um, you know, looking at CYTOF, which is a way to look at the systemic um, phenotype in the blood of the, uh, the immune uh, the immune phenotype, um, and also now looking at kind of more ge next generation uh, biomarker approaches using single cell uh, RNA sequencing.